Hi guys, it's me Nadja from NadjaDiamond.com and I am coming to you today with a makeup tutorial and a review of the new Retro Love Palette by Bad Habits. You guys, this is going to be a dope on a dime makeup edition. So, I don't know about you, but I love me a good dupe, okay? I love me a good, you know, alternative to those super duper duper higher expensive, more expensive brands. And I have one for you right now. This is going to be the dupe to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. So if you are not familiar with that palette, that palette retails for about $42. It has about 15 shades. And to be quite honest, the internet just like YouTube went crazy over that palette and pretty much bashed it. All of the reviews I heard were negative about that palette. And then I saw uh, Bad Habits come out with the Retro Love palette. And you guys, look at this palette. I am going to insert a picture of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette because I did not buy that palette because I listened to the people that I follow on YouTube and I did not buy that palette based on really what the reviews were and they just weren't all that great. So this palette is by Bad Habits, it is called Retro Love, it is $10 you guys. And so if you can see as far as the picture, so I'm going to put this picture here, let's see. So I'm going to put this photo here and then I will insert photos of the subculture palette over here and you guys they're almost identical as far as colors go. I am wearing it on my eyes today and the quality is so so good. I don't have anything to compare it to like I said I did not buy the subculture palette but I am extremely happy with this and I can tell you guys that this is worth every single dime. All $10 of it, this is worth it. You get 15 shades. The shades are very, very nice. You also get a nice big mirror. This mirror is, you know, really great. The only thing it doesn't have is probably the brush. The um, Anastasia Belly Hills palettes do come with a brush. All the names of the colors are actually printed on the palette, which is super, you know, helpful when you want to know, like, kind of what color you use and you're telling someone else. Um, but I did get a bit of fallout but nowhere near as, as what I've seen on YouTube as far as people um, digging into the uh, subculture palette. So yeah you guys, so this is going to be basically a dupe for that. If you want to see how I achieve this look on my eyes right now, I do walk you through it so please go ahead and keep watching. Okay guys, so I have brought you in a little bit closer, I hope you guys do not mind. Um, but I wanted to show you guys up close and personal this palette, um, it is absolutely gorgeous do you guys see those colors so this is pretty much an exact dupe as far as the colors go of the subculture Anastasia Bailey Hill subculture palette so I'm just gonna go right into this look we are going to go ahead and prime our lids first and foremost I am using the Urban Decay primer potion basically you guys I am going to apply my foundation last because I you know obviously we heard the subculture palette had a ton of fallout and I just do not want to spend a whole bunch of time on my foundation and then have it ruined okay so the first color we're gonna go into is going to be youth right here and I have not touched these so whew, that's a little bit of kickback but um, we're just gonna see tip off the access and we're going to, ooh, that pigment is nice. We're just going to take this as our transition color. So this is actually a really good transition color for me and my skin tone. So um, I like this. And as you guys can see, the pigmentation is pretty nice. And it's definitely blending out really well. Of course, I would get some on my white shirt. Hmm, that's really nice. Hmm, 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 okay. And I just love that, you know, all of the reviews we saw on the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and um, subculture palette. And to be quite honest, I was not impressed by just about any of them. There was not a one that I saw that people were actually raving about the palette. So there was um, some that was like, okay, 
you can definitely, you know, work with it and it worked for me, but you know, it's going to take a practice and it's going to take patience and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, mm, that's not really what I want to hear from a palette. I want, I didn't buy the palette. Okay. I didn't spend my coins on it. So we're not going to compare it to that. We're just going to do our own thing with this. And then I will give you my thoughts on that. Now we're going to go into rock and roll right here and I'm just going to take that slightly up under the color we just applied and I am going to take this Morphe 332 brush and it's just a little bit more of a dent brush. Okay, so now we're going to take a little bit of concealer and we're just going to kind of sort of cut this crease. I don't, I never really, have I done a quick cut crease? We're just going to lay down a base for our lid color because I want it to be like boom and I want it to really, really pop. And so, yeah. So, not bad not bad at all now we're gonna set it because don't want it to crease so now let's go ahead and apply this beautiful green color right here it's like it's called icon let's just swatch it really quickly so these are probably my lights are probably Kind of canceling out the color but let's apply it to the lid I'm gonna try my finger first oh that's pretty that's really pretty I don't know if my camera is picking that up but that is pretty all right now I'm taking it with my brush So with the other side of my brush, I'm going to go into this Mod Green right here. It's called Mod in this palette. I don't know what it's called in the Subculture palette, but we're going to apply this right next to it. Okay, so now on that outer third, I'm going to use this color right here, and this is called Free Love. And I'm going to take this denser brush again, and I'm just going to take it right here on this outer third. And this is really pretty too. You see how you can actually see the colors. So I love that you can see the blue, you can see the green, and then you can see like the chartreuse color, and it's not kind of like losing really its color when you're blending these. So that is awesome. We're going to blend these edges out. We're going to take this Morphe 330 brush to blend out all of this right here and we just want this to be super smooth and just transition nicely okay guys so I'm done with the other eye and as you can see I have a bit of fallout so I'm going to remove all that okay so now I'm going to go in with my foundation. As you can see, I have a little bit of redness over here. Um, 
So I have to cover up all of that. And let's see, I really wanna try something new, but you guys, I'm so addicted to the Clinique Beyond Perfecting uh, Foundation. This is a uh, foundation and concealer in one, and I am so beyond obsessed with it. It's just so full coverage. It is great for oily skin. It looks great on my skin, and I am in the color 24 Golden. So you know what? I'm just gonna go for what I'm used to and what I know, and that is what I'm going to use in this video today. So. We're just gonna go ahead and apply this all over. And I love this applicator. It's really big. It will apply a lot of product. Um, I probably don't need this much product, so I'm gonna stop right now. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go in with my sponge. This is a Real Technique sponge, and I am just going to blend all of this out. So you will see how this just covers up all the redness on my skin. All the blemishes it does a really 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 good job um, so I'm really impressed with this foundation I'm also really impressed with these eyeshadows you guys as you can see they are super pigmented um, I really love um, just how good they look you guys and they were super creamy so easy to blend like they were just a dream to blend I didn't have any problems whatsoever okay so, we're gonna go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is in NC42. I am going to apply this on my under eyes and this is just a tad bit light for me, but yeah, that's light. Ooh, that's super light, but let's see if we can blend that out because I just love this concealer. Extra, extra, extra full coverage. So, all right. So we're gonna take this Mac pencil brush. This is a 219 brush, and we are going to go back into the palette and just basically, hmm, hmm. Let's see. Honestly, I feel like I want to take Rock and Roll and Mod and let's see what that look like. So we're just going to basically take the colors on top and put them on bottom. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's just do that. All right. So now we're going to take this Eco Tools brush and it's still like a pencil brush, but it's a little bit more slightly fluffier and I'm just going to go up under that and blend it out here on this outer corner so I'm just gonna take it down a bit further because I always get nervous working on my lower lash line because I never really feel super comfortable with it but I feel like I'm getting better and that's really what makeup is all about it's just about practicing you guys here on the inner corner and on the bottom corner, I'm going to take this color right here. It's called Revolution, and it's just a super pretty, like, ooh, metallic-y like color. Yes. Hello. What do you guys think? I like it. I don't know about you, but I like it. I am loving these colors. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do a liner and lashes, and I'll be right back. So, you guys, I just popped on some Ardell Double Wispies. I absolutely love those things. We're gonna do a nude lip. This is just my Wet n Wild uh, Bear It All. Then we're going to do the Iman Cosmetics Perfect Lip Pencil in Coco. A 
Okay guys, so this is going to be the finished look. I will zoom you guys out and show you what it looks like with my hair and everything done. So, be right back. Thank you.